dear students now we are going to discuss hand of strategies in cellular concept and its practical consideration let's start with the definition of hand off when a mobile user is moving from one cell to an another cell while a call is in progress then the technique called hand off is used to transfer the mobile call from one cell to another cell without dropping the call so in cellular network each cell is having its own base station which is going to control all the channels within the coverage area so here the mobile user is in moving condition then the call is hand over to the new cell by using the technique hand off it is monitored and controlled by mobile switching center so here the definition is hand off is the process of transferring a mobile call from one cell to another cell without dropping call that is the call is continue uninterruptedly okay so that is called as hand off technique it is very very important process in cellular concept there are three steps to be followed in this hand off process the first one is to initiate the hand off process and then establish a new connection and finally ensure the data flow control so in this process voice and control signals both should be allocated to the new channel which is in the new base station okay so next working of hand off process for initiating this hand off process an optimum signal level is designed by the designer so based on this optimum signal level the call is hand over to the new cell so generally the acceptable voice quality is minus 90 dbm or minus 100 dbm so here we can design a threshold for hand off that means marginal value so based on this marginal value the call is transferred from one cell to another cell so this marginal value can be represented as del that is nothing but the threshold value for this hand off that is equal to the received hand off power minus the minimum usable received power so these two values are important to design this threshold for hand off okay so based on this del value we can ensure the hand off process from one cell to another cell let's discuss two hand off scenarios at cell boundary so one is improper hand off the next one is proper hand off here we are going to draw the graph between the received signal level from the mobile user and the time so here we can consider two cells one with the base station 1 the next one is with base station 2 so here the mobile user is moving from the point a to point b we are going to consider three signal levels in this diagram one is the received signal level at point a next the received signal level at point b so the third one is important that is the signal level at this boundary between cell 1 and cell 2 do you all understand this concept so here improper hand off so in this scenario this is the received signal level at point a so it is continuously decreased so at this boundary the received signal level is less than the hand off threshold value as well as the minimum acceptable level so when the received signal level from the mobile user is less than the minimum acceptable level then the call is terminated in the second cell do you all understand this one there is no proper hand off that is called as improper hand off so here this hand off threshold value is very important as well as the minimum acceptable level so when the received signal level is below this minimum acceptable level at the boundary then the call is terminated the next one is proper hand off so in this one this is the received signal level at point a so here at this boundary it starts its hand off initiation so this is the threshold value so at this point it reaches its threshold value in the boundary and it is continuously getting the service because of this hand off operation do you understand this one so again at this point b it reaches its maximum received signal level that means 
the call is continue do you all understand this one that is called as proper handoff so in this one we can say this threshold value is very important to make the proper handoff at correct time okay so here if the marginal value that is the threshold value is too large if the threshold value is too large means n number of handoffs are there for this particular new channel if this threshold or marginal value is too large unnecessary handoffs burden the mobile switching center because if it is large means more number of new users are available in this base station too so it will affect the mobile switching center okay so more number of channels awaiting for its allocation at the same time if this threshold value is too small what will happen because of this insufficient handoff time because it is quickly crossing its marginal value then the call may be last due to this insufficient handoff time okay if it is too small means the moving user can easily cross this within a fraction of a second then the base station is not able to assign the handoff or it is not able to assign the new channel okay so here we can ensure that this marginal value or the handoff threshold value should be chosen wisely to provide a proper handoff at correct time so it is very important point okay next the received signal drops below the minimum acceptable level due to the following reasons one is excessive delay by the mobile switching center to assign the required handoff sometimes the mobile switching center itself taking more time to assign the new channel to the new user okay so for that the call may be last okay the next reason is the marginal value is too small so then there is insufficient hand of time for that the call may be last the third one is high traffic conditions in the new cell that means in the new cell all the channels are occupied are busy with its own users at that time it is not able to allocate a channel to a newly incoming user to the channel next one is dwell time so it is an important factor used in this handoff process so when the user is moving in a cell then the base station is continuously monitoring the signal level for a certain time period before a handoff is initiated that means it has to monitor up to the minimum acceptable value so when it reaches the minimum acceptable value it starts the handoff process that is called as dwell time so it is the time period over which a particular call may be maintained or sustained within a call without handoff so once it reaches that minimum acceptable level then it initiates the handoff process so here the factors affecting the dwell time are fading interference propagation as well as the distance between the base station and the user okay do you understand this one so how long the received signal level is maintained or sustained within a cell that is known as dwell time okay so the next important concept is mago so that is mobile assisted handoff so handoff can be done by a different techniques in case of first generation the handoff is made by the base station itself so base station is going to monitor the received signal level from the user if it is less than the minimum level it terminates its call okay so in another cell it is going to receive the signal level above the minimum acceptable level it gives the connection to the user but in second generation handoff is made by maho that is mobile assisted handoff so in this one the mobile devices okay so the mobile devices assist the base station to transfer a call to another base station for example gsm cellular network so here the moving mobile device itself assist the base station to transfer the control from one base station to another base station so there are few more handoff methods available like one is mobile control handoff mobile assisted handoff 
and network controlled handoff. So here the switching network is going to control the handoff process. Okay. So next one important practical consideration is prioritizing handoff. So that means here in this concept we are going to allocate a fraction of a channel in a particular cell for handoff. For example, the cell is having 100 channels. Okay, so it is having 100 frequency channel. Of this 100 channels, 20 channels are permanently reserved for the handoff process. So only 80 channels are used for its coverage area. So that is called as quad channel. Okay, so it is a quad channel concept used for giving priority to the handoff. You will understand this one. As I told you, in prioritizing handoff, a fraction of the total available channels in a cell is reserved for handoff request. For example, out of 100, 20 channels are assigned or reserved for handoff request. So, it may address the handoff request immediately by which we can increase the spectrum utilization. But at the same time, the major drawback is the total traffic is reduced within that particular cell coverage area because only 80 channels are available to cover the remaining user within the cell. Do you all understand this one? So the next one approach is umbrella cell approach. It is very very important concept in this handoff process because the user can move by walk or by driving a vehicle. If the user is moving by driving the vehicles the speed is very high if the speed is high the handoff request should be covered for larger area in case of moving by walk what will happen the coverage area is small correct so umbrella approach is mainly used to provide both large coverage area for high speed users and small coverage area for low speed users so for high speed users, we need to have a very high antenna with a high power. For small coverage area at low speed, we need to have a small height antenna with low power. So it has both high power antenna and also the low power antenna with small coverage area. So that's what given here. There is a possibility of using different antenna heights with the different power levels to meet high and low traffic demand okay so here the micro cells are smaller cells of low traffic and here macro cells are larger cells of high traffic with high power transmitter so in this umbrella pattern all the micro cells are grouped together and assumed to be under the macro cell so it provides the coverage area for both high speed user with larger area and low speed user with smaller area. Do you all understand this concept? So it is very very important in handoff process. So the major advantages of umbrella cell pattern. It increases the radio coverage for both kind of moving users by walk or by driving the vehicles. So it minimizes the number of handoffs for the high speed users also provides more number of channels for low speed users. It provides less mobile switching center intervention. Okay, do you all understand the umbrella cell pattern? Next important practical consideration in handoff is cell dragging. So it is the practical problem in micro cell system that means only for the user who is moving by work that is pedestrian users. So it results from the pedestrian users that provide a strong signal to the base station when there is a line of sight path between the subscriber and the base station. So here we can say there is a base station when the user is moving by walk. Okay, that is pedestrian user. Then the user is slowly moving with respect to this base station and it has to create a line of sight that is LOS between the subscriber and the base station. So it is having a strong signal till the boundary condition. So this is the boundary between this cell and the next cell. So for this pedestrian user, 
the signal strength is strong enough at this boundary. So here the handoff will not be initiated until the boundary reaches. So hence the handoff will not be initiated and there will be a traffic management issue when entering into the new cell. Do you understand this concept? So cell dragging may be avoided by adjusting the handoff threshold and radio coverage for this pedestrian user. Okay, so it is not the practical consideration for high speed users. Example for macro cell. Okay, finally we are going to discuss the important type of handoff process, hard handoff and soft handoff. So in this hard handoff, the different base stations handle the radio communication task. So that means the base station is going to establish a new connection with this handoff process. The mobile device is not going to deal with this one. It is also called as break before make. The base station is going to disconnect its connection at this boundary and this base station is going to establish a new connection with this mobile user. But in this soft handoff, it refers to the ability of the mobile station that is the mobile itself for selecting the proper base station. So it is also called as make before break. That means the mobile device always retains the same channel until the new channel is established. So once the new channel is established, then only it is going to break the previous channel. Okay. So here the mobile station is going to compare the signal levels between this base 1 and base 2 and which is having the more strength, then only it is switching over to that new channel. So based on the signal strength, it is going to determine the new channel. So it is used in CDMA concept. Okay.